children are learning new words all of the time. And I'm sure you're very familiar with the curious questions that they might ask, such as, what's this? What does that mean? Books offer you lots of opportunities to think about teaching new words. And today in this video, I want to share with you some tips that you can think about to help your child learn new words and also how you can help them to begin to use these words in their everyday life. Hi, I'm Maria and I'm a speech and language therapist from Talking Buddies, the kind of talking that makes a difference. To help your child learn new words with books, it's best to choose books with nice detailed pictures and illustrations. For example, here's a book illustrated by Dan Green. And as you can see from the front cover, there's really nice scenes and events that you can talk about with your child. So allow your child to take the lead talking about what they see happening in the picture. And then where you can, add in new words to expand upon what your child is talking about. So for example, if your child is talking about this picture and they begin to describe um, the little girl here and say, oh look, she looks really sad. You could say, you're right, she looks devastated. Oh, I wonder why. It looks like she dropped her ice cream. She looks devastated. She looks really upset. And then what you can do is you can relate that new word to an event or a situation in your child's life where they were devastated or they understood the word. So you could say, do you remember yesterday when you broke your car? You were devastated, weren't you? You were really sad, but we fixed it and you were okay. So what you're doing is you're taking that word from the book, that new word, and applying it to in a situation or event in your child's life that will help them remember and learn the word better. You can also introduce new words to your child by reading stories with more printed text. I like Julia Donaldson books because she includes vocabulary that can be used across different situations and different contexts. And that's really helpful for a child because they can take that vocabulary from the book and with your help, they can apply that vocabulary to their everyday life. Um, examples of vocabulary from, say, this book by Julia Donaldson, Tiddler, the Storytelling Fish, um, would be... Um, for example, but on the way ho on the way to school, I was captured by a squid. I wriggled and I struggled until a turtle came and rescued me. So within those two lines, you have captured, wriggled, struggled and rescued. So thinking about um, how you can help your child understand those words, you can look at the picture and describe, oh look, can you see the fish? He's wriggled, he's wriggling out or he wriggled away. Um, and you can apply it to their everyday life, such as, do you remember the time it was last week and I was tickling you and you wriggled and you wriggled and you escaped me? Um, so you're showing your child how you can, how that applies to them and teaching them how they can also use that word in their everyday talking. Give them an opportunity then to give you an example of how they can use the word wriggles themselves. So to recap, these are the ways that I like to help a child learn new words through book sharing. I like to add new words while looking at the pictures or I pick out a word from the printed text and I use the pictures in the book to help um, explain what that word means. Um, I then relate that word that um, we have picked out to the child's everyday life. Remember to repeat the book lots and lots and emphasize those new words that you're you're teaching and giving your child. Um, where you can, bring up that new word throughout the day at home so that your child can hear you use that word in an everyday situation. I'm Maria and I'm from Talking Buddies and thank you very much for, li for listening today. Like and subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions please do pop it in the comment section and we will get back to you. Thanks a million.